Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about geological time scale. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. Let's talk about geological time scale. So geological time scale is a huge matter, and we all are scared of it. But this is very important for your exam. So we must understand the concept. I will teach you exact points regarding geological time scale. It will be very short and I will also share some tricks to learn it within 5 to 10 minutes. Okay, so let's start. So geological time scale is a record. It's a record basically of Earth's history based on the organisms that is plants and animals. So the organisms that survived at different times. By studying the fossils present in the rocks, the geologists have divided the geological time into intervals. The major intervals of geological time are known as eras. Eras are divided into periods. Periods are divided into epochs. So three things you need to remember. First one is era, second is period and third is epoch. These eras, periods and epochs are arranged on the time scale in an order of their age and this arrangement is called geological time scale. So this is just an arrangement. Now we will see the first era. The first era is Precambrian. This is the first era and this era is not divided into any further period or epoch. So the major events that we need to remember are the volcanic eruptions. So volcanic eruptions and repeated glaciations, these were found in that time, that in the Precambrian time. And oldest rocks are available, oldest rocks are available during Precambrian and the earth basically formed during that time and life begins in sea. So this is the first time when life begins in sea and primitive aquatic plants, algae, fungi, bacteria, protozoa are the first uh, organisms that were found in the Precambrian state. So this much, this much only you need to remember about Precambrian. And then second, second era is the Paleozoic era. This is the second era. So Paleozoic era is further divided into different periods. So the periods are, first one is the Cambrian, Cambrian. So Cambrian is in this period, the major events that occurred was great submergence of land. That means land was formed, but lands were underwater. So these lands were, those who are formed were underwater and land plants appeared for the first times because land appeared. So land plants also appeared. Corals abandoned and fishes appeared. So this much, this much you need to understand, this much you need to remember about Cambrian. And then it is the Ordovician. Ordovician is the second period under Paleozoic era. So this time appearance of first vertebrates was the Ostracoderm. Ostracoderm is the first vertebrates. You need to remember this thing. So appearance of first vertebrates occurred during Ordovician, this period. And next period is Silurian. So in the Silurian, appearance of fast insects. So fast insects were appeared during Silurian. Next period is Devonian. So in this time, appearance of ferns. Ferns were the vascular plants. So vascular plants appeared during Devonian. And the appearance of gymnosperms. So gymnosperms, we know these are flowering flowerless plants. So these flowerless plants or gymnosperms were also appeared during Devonian. And appearance of amphibians so three major events you need to remember during Devonian first one is the appearance of vascular plants second one is the appearance of gymnosperms and third one is the appearance of amphibians this much only you need to remember about Devonian next period is Mississippian Mississippian is the next period so spread of ancient sharks so ancient sharks were found in the uh, sea so in the Mississippian the main thing was the spread of ancient sharks 
and next period is Pennsylvanian. Pennsylvanian is the next period. So during this period, appearance of reptiles, appearance of reptiles were found during the Pennsylvanian period, and the next period is Permian. So during Permian, rise of continents so rise of continents and mountain so we know till that part till parmian till parmian we have seen that the land appeared but lands were submerged in the sea during parmian rise of continents were, were there and mountains were also uh, came and rise of conifers rise of conifers we know conifers are cone bearing gymnosperms and appearance of mammal like reptiles so appearance of mammal like reptiles and appearance of conifers were there during the Permian period. So this Paleozoic era is divided into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 into 7 periods. So these are 7 periods under the era Paleozoic. So how will you remember? How will you remember these 7 periods? So to remember the names of these 7 periods, you need to remember 2 simple sentences. 2 simple sentences. First sentence is camera is often shut down camera is often shut down is the first sentence so in this sentence you can see camera c a is for cambrian o is for ordovian s is for silurian d is for devonian so camera is often shut down from this you can understand you can remember these four periods and then one more sentence is very uh, easy sentence that is Messi plays piano this is also very cute and sweet sentence that Messi plays piano from this sentence you can find the three period so Messi from Messi you can understand you can remember Mississippian and from place it is the Pennsylvanian and from piano it is the Parmian so Messi plays piano so only two sentences you need to remember here first one is the camera is often shut down and second one is a Messi plays piano if you if you remember these two simple sentences you can remember the names of these seven periods as well okay so next is next era this is the third era third era is the mesozoic era this is the third era mesozoic era so here you will get the period so mesozoic era is again divided into different periods so first one is the triassic triassic period so in this period appearance of desert so desert appeared during triassic period transition of reptiles to mammals transition of reptiles to mammals and rise of egg lying mammals were there during this time only these three points you need to remember for this triassic period next is jurassic jurassic we all know we all have seen we all have uh, we all all are known about the jurassic that is the dinosaur that is the period for dinosaurs so that time the dominance of dinosaurs we all know and the appearance of fast tooth bard so appearance of fast tooth bard and appearance of dinosaurs were there in the jurassic period so jurassic park we all know and the third one is the cretaceous Cretaceous is the third period under the era Mesozoic. So during that time, building of Himalayas, Andes, and Rockies. So these mountains were uh, were uh, built at that time. Those were Himalayas, Andes, and Rockies. Dinosaurs become extinct. So dinosaurs became extinct during that time. And tooth birds that were also came during Jurassic period. These were also extinct. And beginning of bony fishes and modern birds. So beginning of bony fishes and modern birds uh, were appeared uh, during the Cretaceous period. So during Cretaceous period, now you need to know, you need to remember the periods or these three periods that is Triassic, Jurassic and Cretaceous. For this, you need to remember only one simple sentence that is tourists love jumping chicken. Tourists love dumping chicken. Jumping chicken, we all know jumping chicken is a famous dish in Goa. So, tourists actually love this uh, dish to eat. So, tourists love jumping chicken. From this, you can understand from tourists, it is Triassic. 
from jumping it is jurassic from chicken this is cretaceous so in this way you can remember the names of the three periods and next era is the cenozoic era this is the last this is the fourth era this is the cenozoic era and this era is again divided into two periods first one is the tertiary and second one is the quaternary so in the tertiary we will see that tertiary is again subdivided into different epoch so this tertiary period is now subdivided into different epoch so first one is the paleocene so in paleocene appearance of mammals in eocene placental animals appeared hoofed mammals and uh, appeared and carnivorous established so during eocene placental mammals hoofed mammals and carnivores established during oligocene this is the third epoch during oligocene worldwide tropical forest appeared appearance of modern mammals so appearance of modern mammals and worldwide tropical forest appeared during oligocene and then this is miocene so during miocene development of grasses reduction of forest and fast man like apes so fast man like apes appeared during miocene and next is the paleocene paleocene is in during this epoch spread of herbs and grasslands man elephant horses camels evolved so during paleocene man elephant horses camels evolved so this much only you need to remember only these much points you need to remember in this case and here again you need to remember the names of the epoch so only one sentence is enough for that that is pal arns often by making pillow pal arns often by making pillow so from the pal it is paleocene from arns this is eocene from often this is oligocene by making from making this is miocene and from pillow this is paleocene this is very easy to remember this sentence pal arns often by making pillow okay so next is the cenozoic is again divided into one more period so i have already told that the cenozoic era is divided into two periods so first period was the tertiary and second period is the quaternary so quaternary period is again divided into two epoch first one is the pleistocene and second one is the holocene so during pleistocene this is the age of man pleistocene is the age of man and holocene that is the recent period so this is the recent sorry this is the recent epoch so this is the age of modern man development of human culture so we are living in this epoch that is the holocene epoch we are living in this epoch so this is the age of modern man and development of human culture so if you want to remember these two pleistocene and holocene epoch so only please help you just remember these two words that please help some from please you can understand it is the pleistocene and from help you can remember holocene and this is uh, very easy to remember just few sentences you need to remember and the exact point the exact special point characteristic point of particular uh, par epoch or period or era i have mentioned here and the four era four era here i have seen that first one is the pre cambrian then paleozoic and then mesozoic and then cenozoic so you need to remember these four era name of four era so here you can remember the sentence that is pretty pal makes century pretty pal makes century from here you can understand from pretty this is pre cambrian from pal this is paleozoic from mex this is mesozoic and from century this is cenozoic so this is very easy to remember so please try to remember the whole stuff this is very important for your exam so that is all about geological time scale